Why did Godzilla kill Tiamat in Godzilla X Kong? I always had that question. I mean, why? Why couldn't he just leave him alone like he did before? Well, in today's video, we finally get an answer to that question, and let's go. Today, we will continue our coverage. So, last time we got the answer on why Godzilla killed Skyla, but now we got Tiamat, which I have no idea. He killed her in like 10 seconds. erased Titanicilla from the list of Titans, and how? But in Godzilla Kong the New Empire, Godzilla was out for blood. After delivering final judgment to the giant crab, Godzilla nearly killed every single Titan he saw in Godzilla X Kong. I mean, he killed, nearly killed Kong if it wasn't for Mothra. Such fate. Sit back, listen closely, and make sure you smash that subscribe button and get ready for oh. Tiamat's execution explained. After the release of the new empire, many people amongst the fan base and even some big I'm, I'm even confused that I'm Godzilla. Injustice that happened in this film. Now there had to be a good reason. Godzilla is not going to go around killing random creatures. Let's be honest. Into an execution. Yeah, from the surface, it seems a little unfair and quite frankly out of character for Godzilla to eliminate a titan out of nowhere. After all, Godzilla is described as a force of nature that keeps balance, not aggressive unless provoked. But in GXK, Godzilla pretty much headed towards Tiamat, who was apparently just chilling in her lair, kicked her out, <laughs> and then killed her. That is disrespectful. Well, Imagine we'll you go to someone's house, you kick them out, and then you kill them, and then take the house. Head. Nah, we'll Godzilla, out, we'll bro. What's wrong with him? King of the Monsters. King yeah, of the Monsters? actually had a big role here, too. Although not seen in this film, this titan actually inflicted a huge death toll as commanded by Ghidorah, beginning in Stone Mountain, Georgia, possibly dormant in one of the surrounding lakes and making her way to the shore with her hydrokinetic abilities. Being an aquatic titan, her hydrokinetic abilities allow her to easily make her way through dry land back into the sea, leaving potentially millions of dead life forms in her wake. Tiamat is considered a destroyer by Monarch, and because oh. of this, she would obey a destroyer alpha titan like Ghidorah. But this alone Godzilla is a destroyer is too. Look at that. Hit that dis destroy list. that subscribe Remember, button as Goji Center just showed. And malevolent titans were doing Ghidorah's bidding, so this act alone wasn't going to warrant her execution. What she did after these events mattered a lot. What? Moving I thought she just ran away and like hid. After Godzilla established himself as the new alpha, Godzilla would travel the world, putting the bad titans in their place, making the bad ones submit. Even going out of his way to rescue a destroyer titan from humans. What? And brutally killing one that settled in his old lair. Oh the my. Janitor Murderfish. Yeah, as you'll soon find out, Godzilla doesn't like anyone staying in his crib. But there happened to be Godzilla one just where he used to previously crib. but got kicked out by this guy. No, we're not kidding. And this is not Kong, by the way. This was another member of the great ape species that actually kicked Godzilla's butt out his home. A pretty humbling experience. Okay, no, what is this? Okay, where is he getting his facts from? Wish.com? Nah, there's no monkey that can beat Godzilla. This time, he was going to come back and retake it. But that wasn't it. He was going there to kill him. Remember how he had just killed this big fish for being in his old house? Yeah, this one had it coming next. Godzilla didn't stay where the big fish was because it had already been destroyed or stood as collateral damage whenever Sarazawa blew up the nuke to help him heal. This helped I'd Godzilla, but he I'm ended up angry, losing man. his house as a result. So now he blew Godzilla up my set house. his sights on an old lair he once called home where this ape was. Or so he thought. Once arriving on the shores of his old lair, Godzilla was quickly ambushed by a much more dangerous titan. Who? Well, you guessed it. Tiamat. Now, this is, Godzilla I think, their first interaction, right, in the comics. Tiamat, yeah. But why was she here? After King of the Monsters, all remaining titans went back to their lairs, and Tiamat just went to find something more comfortable and isolated. Arriving here, either killing off the ape that kicked Godzilla out of here many years back, or just simply moving in after this ape had already died. Whatever the case, Godzilla didn't give a crap. What mattered was that she was here, and she needed to get out. But instead, Tiamat came out swinging, ambushing Godzilla and taking him into deep water, cutting him from all directions, temporarily blinding him and almost killing him. Had it nah, not been that, that the is... change of terrain, Godzilla that would have been a happened. harder time. But note how this time Godzilla didn't use his atomic breath. 
Yeah, Godzilla made her submit using his land advantage and stomped her into submission. She agreed and left. Perhaps he nearly used his ability. Did you guys see that? You saw right like there. the blue After all, she ring. submitted and Godzilla let her leave in peace. But that doesn't mean Godzilla didn't hold a grudge here. From here on, Our Godzilla is angry, bro. He nearly killed her. Tiamat actually obeyed and found another place to settle. After the events of God after the events of Godzilla Dominion up to the year 2027, Tiamat had been compliant. To I feel kind of bad for Tiamat. She didn't do anything. All she did was went to Antarctica and sleep. There were absolutely no recorded incidents or even rumors of Tiamat causing trouble. In fact, it was mentioned nah, in the novel that her whole I kind of feel bad. Away from Godzilla, Yo, she got so terrified of Godzilla. She's like, nah, this guy beat me. Wanted a rematch. Okay, Scylla is just, I don't know what bro was thinking. And Godzilla was picking up on the Iwi's Hollow Earth distress calls, which made him seek more sources of radiation to become stronger for the upcoming threat. Ironically, though, Godzilla ended up doing the exact same thing Scylla did before she squared up with him. The G-Man proceeded to visit a few powers power plants and siphon up the energy exactly as Scylla did earlier. This <laughs> okay, what's wrong with Godzilla, Godzilla in this new movie? Radioactive. So much, in fact, that even being near him at the time was life-threatening. Whatever, oh my. whoever Godzilla was heading towards was about to have a really bad time. And it turned out that Titanus Tiamat happened to be the next stop. Coincidentally, Godzilla was making his way to the Arctic Pole not really because of Tiamat, but because of the valuable resource that was located where Tiamat lived. Oh, Tiamat's so he didn't even know. To be right in the trajectory of electromagnetically charged solar winds, the same stuff that instigates auroras. This location oh. made it one of, if not the largest stockpile of energy on the surface of planet Earth. Did this have any effect on Tiamat? Most definitely yes. You may have noticed that Tiamat looks a bit different from her form back in Godzilla Dominion. Back in 2019, Tiamat emerged looking like a sea serpent with longer fins, two of which may have served as wings or fins to help her propel through air and water. Her bioluminescence would fall within the blue, aqua, and purple tones. Ooh! Timo looks good. I think Timo is one of the best the designed characters in Godzilla X Kong we've in seen. GXK, she takes on a much different form. A larger array of fins with the sharpness of obsidian and hardness of titanium, four small stubby limbs to aid her in steering underwater, and most notably, a pink coloration similar to the energy that was being stored Wasn't in this Tiam area. Tiamat always like pink? Scylla, Tiamat may have also gone through some evolution during her dormancy. I like the way she evolved, but nothing changed. She got absolutely destroyed in like five and seconds. Developing body attributes that help her maneuver this icy landscape better, cutting through glaciers without any problems. Was it a coincidence that Tiamat chose this spot? Maybe, but Godzilla may have seen things differently. If we're really going to try to understand why Godzilla killed this kaiju, let's for a moment drop all bias and think like Godzilla for a brief moment. First okay, let's think of like Godzilla. I'll definitely that do that because it's no I mean, look at me. To why Godzilla decided to go as far as killing Tiamat. All Titans I mean, he Godzilla nearly killed her. Wait, wait. Killed. People saying, why did Godzilla kill nearly Tiamat? She nearly killed Godzilla. She got him wrapped around and started sucking his head. Like, come on. Godzilla only had one choice to kill her. And Monarch didn't seem to find a good reason other than that the G-Man just wanted to take over this energy. But that's a boring answer. If Godzilla just wanted this energy, he would have just told Tiamat to move aside. Well, he did. In the film, Godzilla lets out an atomic blast that pierced the icy lair where Tiamat resided to try to get her out. It was Tiamat's next actions that Yeah, Tiamat just started fight. attacking Godzilla, which which isn't a good idea. Which isn't a good idea. You, a a good idea. you just ignore Godzilla. Not ignore Godzilla. Not Godzilla. You listen to Godzilla's she rules. She stood I can't even speak. Godzilla that's how angry I am, bro. Big mistake. Remember, Godzilla already held a grudge against Tiamat for daring to ambush him in his own house. And to make matters worse, Godzilla now saw Tiamat as an even greater threat. She was now wielding the same energy that he needed to become more powerful. Who knows, maybe Tiamat stayed dormant, giving the illusion of compliance, but at the same time becoming more powerful and thus making her likely to cause more destruction in the future. We'd like to think of Godzilla as a big picture thinker. Thinking ahead and in some Godzilla way, got that big brain. Titans, <laughs> determining which ones would be of good use and which ones should be No, I think Tiamat can be an alpha titan because she is strong. Scylla, nah bro, she's, just, she's too weak. A 
destroyer titan who now just became more powerful, daring to fight Godzilla again, and on top of that, someone who had already previously disrespected Godzilla. Exactly. Yeah, Goji Center. Me and Goji Center out here, we know time. each other, bro. It was just too risky. So, what the G-Men did to Tiamat can be pretty much seen as an executive decision. Not everyone has to understand, but maybe he knew something Monarch... Godzilla, no, 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 guys, guys, you have to believe me. I killed Tiamat because I had to, man. Before Godzilla turned Tiamat into cooked sashimi, Good. then Godzilla would have actually <laughs> looked like a tyrant. But we're not concluding this episode without explaining how Godzilla killed Tiamat. He, he used his atomic Tiamat beam, after though, what? Being drawn out by the G-Man's atomic breath goes on the offensive first, coiling around the G-Man just as she did in Godzilla Dominion, cutting into his hide. Godzilla immediately bites into her flank and rips a piece off. Again, if Godzilla wanted to kill Tiamat, he would have done it already with the atomic breath. But no, Tiamat, instead of leaving, decides to oh, exact. Godzilla. I literally Wondering said that too. Tiamat shouldn't have like attacked Godzilla, especially well, wrapping point, herself Godzilla around Godzilla. Enough. Now, the book says that there was an explosion first, and then the atomic breath followed. So, the explosion may have actually been Godzilla letting out another pulse to get Tiamat off of him, and then proceeding to slice her up with the atomic breath. Or, it could have just been the atomic breath from the start. The point is, Godzilla diced her up, mutilated her corpse, and oh decapitated my. Godzilla her. Godzilla made her into sushi, bro. From perspective, Godzilla may have seemed like a cold-blooded killer, but if you really think about it, Godzilla pretty much did the world a favor by preventing Tiamat from becoming an alpha destroyer kaiju in the future, or outright joining one, making the opposition oh. more powerful. Godzilla would then not only absorb this energy, but also go as far as salvaging the radioactive matter found in Tiamat's body, yes. increasing Didn't he his like... own molecular density, and in the act absorbing some of her DNA. Yeah, he may, he got as some result, of her DNA Godzilla too, which I wonder what happens. With sharper features in his body reminiscent of the previous Titan, who called this layer home. Cooked crab and Is that why Godzilla evolved? Why I look like this? Because of Tiamat. I have Tiamat inside me. But Godzilla would still proceed to dominate later in this film. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh to my Goji Center, what a legend, bro. Everybody hating on me because I killed Tiamat, but I did it for a reason. But anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys like it. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if you think this was a good reason to kill Tiamat. But I hope you guys like this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Peace.